so now we have talked about the anti parallel nature of that now let's talk about another thing why they are complementary sequences what do you mean by complementary sequences that means if we have a g t c g like that the its complementary sequence will be t c a g c so complementary means a is complementary with t g is complementary with c and v vice versa that means g is co c is complementary with g again t is complementary with a so this is uh, the complementary nature of base stacking complementary nature of base present in the in dna why this complementary nature presents there because that gives actually this relationship between the sequence this actually result in a comp uh, the base pairing pattern gives us this result because in, in uh, using the arin shorgov rule arin has to pair with thymine and guanine has to pair with cytosine now which kind of pair is this is this a covalent bond the answer is no the bond is a simple hydrogen bonding because in bases we have found different regions like this uh, keto group like this uh, amine group nh like this normal hydrogen or normal nitrogen so some of them are electron donor some of them are electron acceptor okay so these regions electron donor acceptor actually make interact with each other with the hydrogen present there to make hydrogen bonds in case of gc there are three hydrogen bonds and at are held together by two hydrogen bonds okay now the about the complementarity why they are complementary because in this case a have to pair with t g have to g have to pair with c so if we have a structure a a g t c like that then the opposite structure must have t because t have t can only pair with a c uh, after the t because uh, the complementary is g because g can also only pair with c so that this nature of uh, uh, this bases the shargoff's nature shargoff's rule actually govern these places so a have to pair with t g have to pair with c that actually tell the uh, dna structure to make co make a complementary and this complementary structure actually help the dna to give its unique self coding characteristic that means if one strand is found then the other strand can be formed by using the information that can be found in one strand because if you have uh, a g t c g in this picture in one strand in the other strand will definitely be t c a g c uh, so the cell itself uh, know the complementary nature what will be the complementary nature by governing uh, governing by uh, the rule of arin shargov okay so that is a very important thing now uh, how the hydrogen bonding is done in this case is purine with pyrimidine pyrimidine with purine so that's a, a is a purine with pyrimidine t g is a purine with pyrimidine c so no purine together no pyrimidine together bond because it will it will uh, break uh, the integrity of uh, the dna molecule one part will be fumbled one part will be shivel that's why it's not done so the hydrogen bonding always occurs with one purine and one py pyrimidine residue of bases okay the nh group uh, in nuclear base can act as good hydrogen bond donor and and uh, and the electron pairs of sp2 hybridized oxygen that means oxygen from keto acts as a very very good uh, hydrogen bond acceptor so the keto is a very good hydrogen bond acceptor and amine group was nh not amine actually is so nh group which uh, which act as uh, electro uh, hydrogen bond donor so we in in future slide we will designate nh group as d we, that means donor we will designate co group uh, a or acceptor okay and uh, there are methyl methyl groups present there uh, in this case this methyl group we call it we designate it by m for methyl group okay now let's move on to the next slide so the hydrophilic phosphate uh, di uh, dioxyribose backbone of the helix were not in the outside it contact with the aqueous environment and the base pairs were stacked on each other so what happens the actual structure is uh, this is the basic structure i have told you in my uh, previous lectures is about that the the base pairs are not facing outwards why because the bases are facing inwards the structure is forming like that the bases will pair, form form uh, the inward or inner direction and the backbone which is slightly acidic or charged will face the outward uh, this is a very genuine concept because in solution when the dna present in aqueous solution because in most of the cellular environment that is made up with aqueous solution the dna backbone which is charged in nature always face the aqueous solution and the d and the base pairs always tend to toward uh, into the middle portions by the hydrogen bonding because there are very very less amount of water present in hydrogen bonding uh, in this internal core region of the dna 
okay so what happens this this uh, this is the basic view of dna arrangement of the placing the bases inwards and placing the uh, backbone outwards now another question arises why a dna is form formed a helix why it's a helix not other things why it forms an helix the, the answer is if the bases are stacked with each other by one by one like a ladder it cannot form an helix so that must be a simple rotation during the arrangement of this nucleotides uh, actually nucleosides so the answer is exactly the true the each base pair is rotated th by 32 36 degree so we have uh, the base pairs that is rotated by 36 degree with respect to the next accommodate bases so that's how one base is stacked on another base when the first base is there for example take it like that so let me take it this is our first base which is placed here and the second base let me change uh, the color the second base will rotate by 36 degree like that and the third base for example another color it will rotate by sorry it will rotate by another 36 degree so that gives a spiral nature of movement a spiral nature of movement of making the strand like spiral not straight line like that okay that keeps preventing uh, of making the dna stra straight line okay the diffraction pattern showed the repeated distance be about 3.4 nanometer uh, that means the base pair which presents in one helix is 3. Uh, the distance between this one helix is 3.4 nanometer and that means uh, this is called the helix rise and uh, uh, no no this is not the helix rise this is called the distance or pitch or helix pitch the distance between uh, this Uh, one turn okay and what is called the helix rise it is called it is the that the difference or the distance between the base pairs okay so this is the one base pair so so te, le, let me do or draw again so this is suppose the stacking 36 degree changing nature so that that's how the nature is changing actually so that's how the distance between these two base pairs or base stacks are called the helix rise this is called the rise and when it completes its turn and go on another turn the distance between this two turns is called helix pitch it is called helix pitch okay and normally this helix pitch is 3.4 nanometer and uh, and it this in this helix pitch it contains 10 base pairs approximately 10 base pairs or in a round figure 10 base pairs some uh, books you can find it 10.4 in some books you can find it 10.5 in in a round figure it is a 10 that means helix rise is 3.4 which is the distance of pitch divided by the number of nucleotide present there is 10 that means it is 0.34 nanometer so this is the helix rise or or the difference or the distance between the two bases adjacent bases okay now let's look at the structure uh, in this picture this is a very important picture which which will clear your concept yeah here we have here we have one base pair is there like that so remember one thing the one single base is not turning itself with 36 degree it is uh, the base pair when a base is paired like this in the second base when you have to pair it align the base in such a way that it will pair with the uh, it, it is uh, this complementary base uh, in, uh, it's uh, with it complementary base uh, to uh, lie uh, in a 36 degree orientation of before base pairing that means uh, you have the below base here and th this base slightly changed in direction so this angle or the deviation angle will be 36 degree and this this deviation of base pairing or uh, uh, of the base stacking interaction gives the helix its unique helical nature gives dna its unique helical nature that's why the dna is helical in nature so you can see here the bonding pattern from the overview so op upper view so we are looking uh, so if there is the dna if our eye is here placed here then you are looking like this in this picture and you can see this uh, in from the upper portion that this is the below base this is the first base for our example it will bind in in this direction this plane 
And the, if we if we consider all those base stacking interaction or base pairing in uh, each plane, then you can find this is the one plane. In the second plane, what we find, we find this. So the plane is changing the direction. So so th this is the change. This is 36 degree in nature. Okay. So we have. So let me draw it again. Okay. So in the previous picture here, this is uh, this is the first. And this this uh, light blue is the second. Th so they pairs with each other to make bonds. And when they make bonds, they have they have, they have made bonds in this plane. Okay. In the pre in in upper uh, and this is the lower strand. And in upper strand, when two bases pair another bond, the bond is deviated from this previous. So it is deviated by 36 degree. That's what it is told. Okay. That's how it's done. And, and and all these bases you can see here stacked inside, inside uh, of the DNA, and the whole outside regions are made up with phosphate and sugar, phosphate and sugar. So it's a made up with phosphate and sugar backbone, which is facing outside the polar environment, which is made up most of the part is made up with water, and in the inside it is less water, uh, limited water, and they make the hydrogen bonds. If there are water present in the inside region or the core region in this region, then uh, the hydrogen bonding ability of the bases will be disrupted by the water because the water is very good or a very strong molecule to compete uh, of uh, compete with uh, these base pairs to make hydrogen bonding. So water will pair with uh, these bases rather than uh, the own interaction between the bases.